Hello everyone, welcome to All Things Jemil on More Life TV. It's your girl Pantan alongside my friend Mil Mil. Hello everyone. Okay, so Millicent, you know, I've been going around trying to see Kutivanu, how well are they educated in this particular topic. But that's what realize that, uh uh, when what's gaslighting? So today, guys, we're going to be talking about gaslighting. I asked someone, what is gaslighting? <laughs> the response, Hanzuk Batakas. That's what I thought it was before I actually looked into it. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's a gas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse that's used by controlling people, even some people who aren't controlling. Some people, they just want to control mafungiro ako and dim the way you think, the way you feel about yourself and your self-confidence. Yeah, yeah that's true. I also feel like uh, gaslighting, right? It's a form of abuse. Yes. It's an emotional abuse where someone wants you to think like your voice doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. They want you to question your sanity. How, like, for example, you say something, then they're like, no, that's not it. So end up, if, if it becomes like an everyday thing, you end up thinking, well, probably under fungi. Probably I was wrong. I was wrong. And yes. it's always continuously, I was wrong, I was mm-hmm. wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. So what are the signs? Okay, the signs are, the first sign of gaslighting is you doubting yourself, be it in a relationship, being it at work, being mm-hmm. it with your friends, be it in the workplace or even with your family. Yeah. If you continuously doubt whatever that you are saying, kutiukataura something, to them, you think twice, could you, is it the right thing to say? You're not confident enough to say something that you want to say. Already, that's, there's a sign of gaslighting. Yeah. Especially when it's with a specific group or a specific person. So what is this person going to think about what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gaslighting, another sign that I've heard about is that as soon as whenever you want to talk about something, especially with your partner, partner could brush off or they change that they divert the conversation. Could ah no, even if it's telling you, could you know that's not what happened? So so so. When you find yourself believing, but but I think that's the way it happened. You're now questioning your memory also. Those are some of the signs. Okay, another sign is being called crazy. Mm-hmm. They are, you're imagining things exactly. like People someone if you whenever you're saying something a topic you're talking about a discussion all right i'll give an specific example there's evidence that your partner is cheating then you go to them and tell them you are cheating you have the charts you have everything and then they tell you you're imagining things they tell you you're crazy you know that's already a sign that there is gaslighting mm-hmm. in that relationship and it's something that you have to be alert of Especially when you know, start feeling like they are right mm-hmm. in them telling you that you're wrong, when you can see the evidence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how do we actually turn away from that chichino konzi resauti mono are a gaslighter or for you to be gaslit, what causes that? Okay. For a person, chesot as a good gaslighter, there is influence. Like, you know how some people, it's not only in guys, gaslighting. It's also in girls. So but you are with your friends. And then your friends start telling you, for example, Vascana, if you don't your guy doesn't give you money, then your friends start telling you, you know. So that pressure, that influence from your friends mm-hmm. is the one that will push you to do the and say, end up gaslighting someone. Yeah. Because in as much as you know, mm-hmm. You're trying to put the idea in his brain. And you can see. It's okay. You probably have another girlfriend. You're trying to get into someone's mind. So that they can think what you want them to think. And when you find that. But this person wants me to think like this. So whenever we're arguing about something. Exactly. Know that you're being gaslit. Mm-hmm. As soon as you feel yourself crumbling, your confidence is crumbling, you're doubting yourself, you're being gaslit. And another cause is my family environment. It's true. If you grow up in an environment, you know, someone are controlling or your mom or your dad, if either of those people, even if your parents gaslit you, you will guess like your partner it projects onto the other and i also heard about narcissists mm-hmm. people Narcissist who just 
Yeah. The people who want to be control, be in control. They want to control the way you think. They want to control the way their friends think. So they have to gaslight you so that they feel confident. Because mm -hmm. my narcissist are even but got it in control of others, but they also feel like when everybody is so self-absorbed, mm -hmm. they're selfish and stuff. So when you got filthy, if I control you, then my thoughts are going to be your thoughts. You're going to think the way I want you to think. Those are the causes that I know. Okay, yeah. Also, I always say this, Melissa, which is very important. Someone's background shapes them to be who they are in the future. So, in the event that you grow up in a family where gaslighting, that's how you're going to end up being as a person. So, I think as an individual, you need to do a self-assessment. What kind of person am I? Be it in friendships, be it kubasa, be it in intimate relationships. What kind of person am I? You also have to do with it. Because I feel like some people don't even know that. Yeah, yes, no right, they so. don't even know that. To them, it's the normal way of living. To them, it's the normal way. That, you know. So you as a person, you need to like self-evaluate yourself. Am I, how are my relationships with other people? If you have any failed relationships, I think it's best you go back and check with what really happened, what in transpired in these relationships so that you can actually get help, you know. Yeah. So I, besides this whole gaslighting thing, right? I feel like people shouldn't be worried about it because there is a way about it. There is a way to, there is a solution to it. For example, positive in re reinforcement, you know, self affirmations. Mm -hmm. Be strong, be bold. Exactly. Yes, you should be able to like say if you don't want anything, just say no. You know, from like the that. first time it happens, you have to say, "Is and this is it and you shouldn't do this to me because I don't appreciate that kind of behavior towards me." Another thing is. We have to be careful, especially in my relationships as girls. If you find someone isolating you from your family or from your friends, mm -hmm. that's the moment that makes it easier for them to gaslight you. Mm -hmm. Because how mm -hmm. ah, but and he said but then you don't have anyone to ask. Mm -hmm. No one is going to agree with you. You don't want to ah, but he's right. I'm probably going crazy. Or I'm probably being obsessive. Chi -chi -chi. In some instances, ukatera your friends, right? They give you advice. No, but they don't trust me. They never want you to listen to other people because the moment you listen to other people, you are empowering yourself. Sanity, I could talk. And they want you to question your sanity. So to them, it's the worst thing. Exactly. They don't want that. And the only, it's not only about getting my contribution from your friends or my, my perspectives. Are you wrong or are you going crazy? Sometimes it's just about positive input from people, mm -hmm. positive input from your family. You know, told Ufungoti, no, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. There are people who love me. Mm -hmm. There are people who are there for me. So you actually have that confidence back. Unless, unlike Pepe Paoningo Ungori, isolated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then like those, the solutions, man, what are the solutions? Okay, the solutions are just don't, like we're talking, don't isolate, isolate yourself, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't isolate yourself. Be around people that will have like positive impact on you. Mm -hmm. Also, you can seek help, you know. Also, you need to identify if it is gaslighting that you're going exactly. through. Exactly. Yes. Because sometimes you just, they're like, um, I don't want to gaslight, I sure, she, she. but <laughs> you're not being gaslighted. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know what you're going through. Be sure and then you take the precautions and whatever you need to do and if you're going through an abusive relationship please do not forget Kuti, there are people out there who can help you usually we like to underestimate therapy it's, it's true. but even if you feel like you can't afford a therapist car talk to your friend besides there are so many people offering free advice we have friendship bench they will help you anytime any day even on whatsapp probably you will say ah and consequent on whatsapp you can get help exactly. so yeah and with physical abuse even if it's someone it doesn't always have to be physical but if it's physical even if it's emotional with someone running out you got an eye someone who you're dependent on you can always get help kunima projects are the same sasa project the number is below please contact them Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.